room. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up. Both men have waited their entire career for this. The championship on the line. Round number one. I feel like I've been through a week of the Super Bowl waiting. Now it's time to play. Everybody's time holding on. Keeping him honest with a double jab up top. Targeting that overhand left. Be interested to see early on here how much of an advantage there is with speed. Mason's is full of it. He has blazing hands, Teddy. Can he keep it up all night long? I think he's going to have to. upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Mason's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punch he wants to put forth. His opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is limited. The guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. We better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. He gets rid of that body shot. Really on the mark with that over-the-top shot with the right hand. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, what a big shot.
not giving it a double jab. New round underway here. He's hoping that it doesn't look like the last stanza where he was knocked down. Well, this is a sport of profession where hope is attached to something very tangible. You know, it's not just a notion, the hope. It's attached to his jab. It's attached to his head movement. He has a good jab. He has good head movement. Guess what? He has hope he'll be okay in the next round. Good two-punch combo by Mason. Mason's defense is paying off now. Black Mamba's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Able to get rid of that one. Oh, what an exchange! Comes right back at him with a left hand. Mason's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has a... and stay away from this guy now this is a byproduct of his energy level being low he's desperate so he ties up his opponent well this is part of being a fighter this is part of being a pro in anything you do there's times where it's all going your way there's times where you got to make it go your way you got to make an adjustment he's doing what he has to do good clutch double jab by black mamba Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counterpunch. Looked like the Willie the Whips, the old great Willie Tex. Made him miss, made him pay. Fires right back at him. Good work on the combination by Mason. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing that I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to his sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything, and then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it, and he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. <laughs> know what a person's capable of when they're pushed to the brink, but this would be very unlikely. It would be spectacular. He digs into the body again. Mason left, working well that time. Black Mamba's favorite punch is the jab, and tonight he's loving it. Well, the jab is the table setter, Joe, and he set a beautiful table tonight. Napkin on the left, you know, small fork on the left, knife on the right, and the food right in the middle. And he's eating all night. You taking some English etiquette classes? You getting hungry? And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Black Mamba's combination punching working out well there. He made it three solid shots. He gets hit, but he gets it right back. Good left there. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Wow, a big flush blow to the left hand by Black Mamba. Wonder when the referee's gonna step in 
now and stop this. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy. If you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. should tell him that after you throw punches, you're not supposed to pull. Teddy, what's the one thing that shows you a fighter like this is recovered? That a guy who was just knocked down in the last round. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to take. He's trying to get some energy back, and now he's tying up his opponent, just wasting some minutes. Yeah, it takes two to tango, though. He's wasting Boom, left hand comes home. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street. before the fight, Joe, that he envisioned himself keeping that belt. Well, he made that come true. 